Okay, today we're going to be taking apart the BlackBerry Z10. We're going to need a few things, like a heat gun. Uh, you could use a hairdryer or something, but uh, I have this heat gun here. We'll also need a couple screwdrivers, a T4 and a T5, I believe, and a T1, and the opening tool. We'll start by shutting off the phone. Take the battery door off. It just un unclips here. Remove the battery. Take out the SIM card and the memory card if there's one in there. So there's a few screws in the outside here. You gotta take them all out. Once all the screws are out, you will take the opening tool. Prefer it be a plastic one, all I have is a metal one here, but if you're careful, it's okay. And just go around the edges and unclip all the, uh, the clips that hold the backing in place. It's very simple to do. Um, just take your time. You don't want to break anything. Um, also, don't stick the opening tool in. You might hit the motherboard or something else. Right away, you can see that this BlackBerry has been water damaged. Um, there's a red dot above the earpiece uh, or on the earpiece speaker. Um, right here, we're just going to unclip all the connectors. There's about five of them. So there's four, here's five. Make sure they're all unclipped before you start taking the motherboard out. The motherboard comes right out very easily. And just put that aside. Now we're gonna take the other uh, uh, tool here. There's a bunch of little screws here. Uh, there's about one, two, uh, three there three on each side and they're T1 that's what I'm using here anyways to take it out they're very very small now the ones on the side hold the uh, the screen in the digitizer the glass and digitizer and LCD okay now the, these little ones here um, they will hold the the volume buttons, uh, flex cable and vibrator flex cable. Um, and when you remove these screws, you'll be able to get that out. Now don't lose any of these. They're also different lengths, so remember where they go. Now to get the glass off, we're going to apply a bunch of heat and pry it out. This is the connector for the whole front screen assembly. As of now, if you break your glass, you have to order the whole screen assembly. I'm not sure if you can separate the LCD and the glass um, just yet. I haven't looked into it though, so I don't know. I'm not changing the screen today, but I am going to remove it just to show you. So apply the heat with the heat source. Take the opening tool. 
and work the sides of it. And the top does come off first. It has to come off first before the bottom. So just work around the edges and, and, and unstick the adhesive. You gotta loosen it up with the op opener tool here. Opener tool here. And uh, make sure you do not stick the tool in deep enough that you'll harm the LCD. Just right along the edge carefully. This screen actually comes off very easily. The reason it has the screws on the bottom is because it's not super, super ad adhesive to the board, if that's a word. It's mainly the edges. The LCD comes off pretty easily. Unlike the Samsungs. And see how there's those clips that slide in at the bottom? That's why the top has to come off first. It's nice when it's not solely depending on the adhesive to keep it together, the screws and clips and whatnot. Now the connector, you have to slide it out, but you gotta curve the board like I did there, the mid-frame, um, to get it out. Once it's out, this is it. Um, very simple, so if you order the screen, make sure you get the LCD with it, because I'm not sure if you can do anything with just the glass. And uh, yeah, very nice quality. I like the feel of the screen. And this is the mid-frame. As you can see, this has the proximity sensor at the top and a bunch of other stuff. There's no glue in the middle, so the LCD just sits there nicely and uh, basically the screws hold it in. Okay, so that's it. Now we'll put it back together. Start by sliding the connector in. You gotta go bit by bit. Once that part's in, just twist the main frame, the mid frame around until you can slide the thick part in. Um, Make sure you don't twist it too much. There you go. Make sure the bottom clips slide in first before uh, putting pressure on the screen. And there we go. Connectors do stick to the main board or the mid frame, I mean. And then, uh, then we stick the bottom, uh, the volley buttons back in the rocker. Having a little bit of trouble here. I'll forward this part. Basically, you just stick it in, put them in, line them up, and then you gotta uh, put it in the flex cable with the buttons in on top. There's only one way it can go, so it's it's easy not to uh, not to mess it up. Okay, so yeah, after you put the screws in, you will uh, put in the screws for the, the screen on the sides. Those screws are very important and um, they do hold the front screen assembly together or onto the midboard. Also test the volume buttons, make sure they're clicking nicely so they're lined up. Ok, 
keep in mind these screws are tiny and they're easy to strip so you know, don't over tighten them put in the screws that were holding the uh, headphone jack now we can put the motherboard back in um, start from the top down I find that easier and make sure the connectors are not underneath the board Once the board is in snugly, start plugging all the connectors back in. Like so. And we we're going to put on the uh, plastic cover. This just snaps into place. And then we'll proceed to put all the screws back in. Let me put the battery back in, put the back cover back on, and we're done. That's how you take apart and put together the BlackBerry Z10.